For this mission I use the stun watch and the masking pen. In addition, I have now opted for the wallet drone, but you can also take the cubals with you instead of the drone. As a weapon I use the undamped P62, because it does more damage to the final boss, Sander. As a suit I take the tactical suit for more ammo, because you will need it for the final boss. You walk to the laptop in the bedroom. Then the bad guys come in. You wait until the heavily armed man comes onto the balcony and then take him out with the watch. You can ignore or eliminate the men in the bathroom and kitchen. You can also skip the two guards in the living room. With the second heavily armed man I use the stun watch again. The sniper won't get into the second man sight, so don't worry. When the sniper laser is not visible you can go towards the door. If not, you can first take out the man against the wall and then the sniper. You don't need the masking pen here. Here I killed the sniper with a weapon I found, but you can also skip him. The drone was a test, but it caused the man standing near the sniper to walk away, giving me the opportunity to jump over without him seeing me. After this, things went wrong so I just walked to the end. A better way is as follows. You take the yellow container and push it towards the ventilation. That way you can climb over it without alarming the others.
Now to go back to the final boss named Sander you have to know that he can see you anytime and anywhere. I picked up an extra weapon to do some extra damage. The extra ammo in my suit also makes it easier to take him out. You can also use your stunt watch on sender to make it easier to shoot him.